As part of Climate Week 2012's Campaign for a Sustainable Future, Nissan set out to turn people on to the low carbon benefits of electric vehicles. We shared a lift in the 100% electric Nissan LEAF with some familiar faces and supporters of Climate Week. Here's what Wayne Hemingway had to say. That feeling of silence. How did you get involved with Climate Week? Um, because of the work that we do at Hemingway Design. You know, our well-known love of upcycling, that's the way we think. And that, that stems more from the way that both myself and my wife, Geraldine, were brought up from very thrifty and resourceful working class backgrounds. You know, everything about was about reusing, from reusing plastic bags to, for bin liners to uh, taking all the bits of old soap and making them into new soap bars. All that, it all became natural to us, the idea of doing things ourselves. So what are you thinking of the car? It feels like a car should feel in terms of you know the handling and the weight and it, and it feels it feels solid but it also feels like it's got a bit of um, oomph about it. This car is not scary from the outside I th and I think that's important really. The car doesn't feel like it's trying too hard which I like so you're not making a, a you're not being showy about it um, but yet when you get in you know you're in something a little bit different but it's not so different as you think whoa I can't deal with this. You, you can deal with it because you're driving a you're driving a car. And that, you know this is obviously pure electric, so you're not using any fossil fuels at all. Nissan are doing like a campaign called the Big Turn On. So they're hoping this year to turn on people to this idea of electric driving. How can you sort of change people's perceptions of the electric drive experience? They've got to get people in them, and people have got to see that it's that it's a viable a viable option. Then they've got to be able to have a chance to to use them. So I mean, maybe getting them out to to events where people can have a go in them and I could live with this car and I could ferry the kids about, could do everything that we want to do. It wouldn't be a hassle, you know, if you if you go to visit friends you'd stick it on you'd stick it on charge. If you're at the office you'd stick it on charge. If you're at home you'd stick it on charge and I can't see any inconvenience for my lifestyle or any of the people that I know for having one of these. If you know that when you you know when you park your car up you just put it on charge. Simple as that, you know. I would certainly not go to bed without putting my, my phone on charge. It's not hard, is it? it it's just not hard. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel that like I'm ready now for, for this. Most sensible people know how stupid it is to drive fast. To be obsessed with, with burning fuel is not the best thing you can do for this world. So £1.91 for, to get your 109 miles or whatever, get your 100 miles. Normally a, a car would do 25 to 30 to the gallon. It's, a diff it's probably about 20 quid-ish, depending on how much you paid for your petrol, as opposed to £1.19. Duh, which is cheaper. 191. Still 191. 191. Oh, that changes it. <laughs> which Is 191 still cheaper than £100? Yeah. Yeah, all right then. Well, I think I'll go for the £1.91 electric car then. <laughs>